The CI Munro Alternative Global Growth Fund returned 3.3% in the December quarter. The fund's long positions and currencies contributed positively to performance, while shorts and put option hedging detracted from quarterly returns. The fund performed well during the quarter, however volatility picked up in late November when a new COVID variant, Omicron, emerged putting pressure on the outlook for the economy. The other key event centred around the US Federal Reserve, with Jerome Powell being renominated for another term. Shortly afterwards, he pivoted more hawkish and flagged an early end to tapering and the potential for three rate hikes in 2022. Supply chains continued to face challenges, but there were early signs that the worst had passed. From a stock attribution perspective for the quarter, positive contributions came from high-performance computing companies NVIDIA and AMD, as well as climate company on Semi. The tractors for the quarter included PayPal and Vestas Wind Systems. We remain constructive equity markets as we enter 2022. As we look forward, there is an abnormally large number of cost currents that have the potential to temporarily disrupt asset markets. Despite the unknowns, there are a couple of trends that we now consider reasonably clear. Growth will slow. Alas, the world can only reopen once, and many businesses will begin the cycle of being assessed against the strong reopening-led numbers they produced in 2021. Inflation will moderate. Inflation data will also begin to cycle the reopening numbers of 2021. While this is unlikely to be apparent during the first half of 2022, as the year progresses and supply chains normalise, we expect the data will, to improve and ultimately taking the pressure off near-term interest rates. Long-term interest rates will stay low. While pressure on interest rates is likely to continue in the short term as the Federal Reserve looks to normalise its policy settings, Elevated debt levels mean that long-term rates are likely to remain low and ultimately supportive of asset prices. As growth investors, our focus remains on identifying sustainable growth trends and the resulting winning stocks. Our job in 2022, like it has been every year, is to find these winners and manage them to the best financial outcome as the structural trends play out. Thank you.